y'all so i'm going to show y'all today how i made this bathroom vanity open shelving situation work out for me i added a little ump i jazzed it up so today i'm going to give y'all the tips and how i achieved that so i want y'all to let me know after watching this video and seeing the inspiration for bathroom vanities with open shelving and seeing how i did it in my home i want to know if y'all would now consider it in your own home and give me a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed this video Hey y'all, welcome. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Shantae and this is Tut Tips. All right y'all, so this is the old vanity. I gotta show y'all where we started at. And I don't know why they put this vanity in this house, but it was a short vanity. It looked like it belonged in the daycare y'all. I don't know what they were thinking. And it was like a little kitty's vanity. And um, I have a bad back and I had no business every morning trying to bend down here and wash my face in this little, what, <laughs> in this little vanity, okay? Now this new vanity, that's my son y'all here in the background, okay? <laughs> he laughing. That's my cameraman today. But anyway, so we got this new, this new vanity. It's, um, I'll put the size, the size below so y'all can see the dimensions of this new one. But I am so happy that other one is gone. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. Now here's the new vanity. I was a little unsure because it was open shelving. Now I've never had a vanity with open shelving and you know when you what comes with having open shelves, you gotta have stuff looking right. So if you're thinking about getting an open vanity in your bathroom, I hope this video helps you to make your decision. Bathroom vanities with open shelving will work in a small bathroom or large ba bathroom. If you didn't know, it'll fit almost every single design style. I think it'll fit. You can make it fit any design style. And you don't even have to go full open shelving like I did. You can just do like a half and half type of deal where you still have some drawers and some cabinets with maybe one or two shelves. Now this vanity is a Scott's living vanity. And if y'all familiar with HGTV and Drew and Scott, then this is their home living line. And it was from Lowe's, but I got this from the ReStore. So if you don't know what the ReStore is, you need to check it out. It's a um, donation center, Habitat for Humanity ReStore is what you need to look up. Our ReStore, Lowe's donate some of their supply to them. So since I bought it there, I got it for a few hundred dollars cheaper than what I would have got it from at Lowe's. You should have one in your area. Look it up. Check out their Facebook page, their website. They sell new, gently used furniture, appliances, home goods, home improvement items like so we're working on my husband's man cave. We got the flooring from there. They sell tile, paint, tools. Some of the stuff is brand new. Some of it's gently used. Now this vanity was new. It wasn't used or anything. They no donated this one and showed them the cabinet here. And they also had um, the long tall cabinets that went with this, but we didn't need it. But they had that there in the restore. So the restore is something you have to jump on and you have to constantly be checking in for those good items. And um, like I said, this is a very quality piece. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick what I put in each of my baskets. So let's start with this one over here. So this one right here, look now, everything in my basket ain't just organized and all neat and pretty and things like that. It's just thrown in here, okay? So y'all leave me alone. It's just thrown in here. And I do not have any plans of trying to organize the stuff within here. I might do that, but right now I'm not even thinking about that. So anyway, this basket right here is what I got all my brushes and combs and I have my hair dryer, all my, um, you know, your pick brushes and combs. That's it. I got a lot of brushes and combs. <laughs> yeah, you know, my husband, he only got a couple in here, so what am I doing? I don't need that much, y'all. But anyway, okay, so right here, ooh, I love this right here. Okay, so if you don't know, 
I love taking things that um, the purpose is for something else. This is a kitchen, um, something, I don't know, serving plate or for some type of appetizer, I don't know. But I got this in Target in the kitchen area, and this is not what this was intended for. But as you see, I just needed a little slither of a spot to fit my washcloths in, and so I used that there. So yes, I do take things that's intended for one thing and like to use it for something else. And then this basket right here, and then y'all see how I didn't do everything the same. I think that added a little oomph um, and jazz stuff up. Made it not so boring. Because at first I was thinking about getting all the same sizes of this one right here. And just have them all laid out. But I just wanted to add a little character and a little dimension. And do something a little different than what people normally jump to. So anyway, this one right here is the washcloth. This one right here is all of my shaving items and the battery, it's batteries for it and the charging stations for them and stuff like that. Y'all don't need to see all that, but you know, that's what's in there. You know, all that kind of stuff is thrown in there. And like, you know, the stuff I use to give myself a pedicure. So, so all the stuff like that for your body and, um, grooming the hair on your body. That kind of stuff is in here. So what I did was I kind of, before I went and bought all these different containers or baskets, is I um, took everything out, seen what I had to work with. I sorted everything into categories and that's how I came up with what um, I was going to be able to store here and it still have some type of organization to it and so on and so on. This one right here is some feminine products, which is still kind of empty, so I have room. And then this one up here, this basket is the only thing that, the only basket that's not brand new. All of these, these four right here, I got from Target. They should still have them there at Target. I just got it maybe a couple of weeks ago. This basket right here has like my hair dryer, my flat iron, um, not hair dryer, but um, curling irons and things like that in here. So this basket I got, I don't know, umpteen years ago. And so I pulled it out, cleaned it up from, um, pulled it out of storage, cleaned it up, and it fits perfectly right here in this spot. And then as you can see, I have my towel. So tip, since we have the open shelving, for this vanity i wanted to make sure that i had to go out and buy all new nice towels which we should all have anyway but okay i didn't have all matching towels so i went out i got all matching towels the theme the color theme for this bathroom so that's that and then over here so what i did here is since this stuff was going to be showing, and this is the stuff that, you know, I just need to get to in the morning every day. So this stuff here, I just made sure I put it in something cute instead of keeping it in the box that it came in, that it comes in. So for these little jars here, very inexpensive, budget friendly, because they were just candles that I had from the dollar store. And once I finished or used the candle, I cleaned it out and used it for storing small little items like this. So even this one right here, you know, those candles you can get in all different kinds of styles and jars. So temporarily, I have all this stuff here on these trays. These trays I've had for years. Um, this one has held up pretty good. This one in the back, it hasn't held up so well. That's why it's in the back. <laughs> That's why it's in the back, y'all. So I do need to find something cute and see if I can come with something better, up with something better for storing this kind of the loose items that I don't want to dig through a basket for. I just want to grab it, use it, and put it back. And this right here, this is very cute. This I got, I've had it for a few years, so I'm not sure where I got it from. But that's a cute little piece. And this is supposed to have flaws in it, y'all. I need to get some new flaws. Don't y'all say nothing. Don't say nothing. Okay. So, yes, get some trays, too. So, 
I've seen some vanities that have longer, bigger, wider, or narrow trays, and they have stuff on there, and it's arranged on there very well, and still um, appealing to the eye. It's not messing up the decor, the aesthetic, or anything like that. What else? What else? What else? What's another tip I can give y'all? Get creative. You can get creative with your towels and how you store them. You can um, store them. I've seen people store them actually in large baskets and then they put the baskets on the shelf if you don't want your towels to show. And if you have a bathroom that already have, um, you don't have a linen situation and you have a linen closet or cabinet in your bathroom, you store those there. And you can put some pretty flowers up here, candles up here, and other decor and things like that. Everything on my open shelf vanity is a necessity. But because I'm short on storage, if you're not, then you can get even jazzier with it and add more oomph by adding plants. Like I said, some um, candles, some cute uh, cute art piece here and there. So I got the toilet paper over here. And this is just for now. I don't know, it's not gonna stay like this. I've already changed everything in here, probably about a total of four times, but um, it's been this way the longest. And um, if I do make any updates, I will post those maybe on my Instagram, somewhere like that. All right, so the theme I was going for was a spa theme, and I think I achieved that, y'all. I wanted a luxe look. I wanted kind of like a hotel vibe, and so I think I achieved that. The only thing I haven't done yet is I want to add a flower, not a flower, but maybe a plant and um, some kind of greenery or plant life in here and um, a candle or two. We needed something that was going to be open because our bathroom, this is the darkest room in the whole house. It's the smallest room, not the smallest room, but it's small and it's the darkest room. So we had to try to pick some type of vanity that wasn't going to shrink the space, make the space appear smaller, okay? So uh, that's why we went with this. I was hoping I was going to be able to make it work, and thankfully it did, because I got a lot of stuff, y'all. I got a lot of stuff. What else? What else? What else? Let me know what y'all think. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video.